Hoy sailors. I am Captain El Pashkador. I am here to speak exclusively to you, associate of the finance sector. Among all company departments, yours is the most critical when the topic is information security. It's this department that holds your company's most important information, like bank passwords and financial transactions records. For this reason, this sector is one of the main targets of attacks. Criminals use phishing techniques to confuse victims and obtain confidential information. To this end, they create specific methods to catch people related to financial transactions and make transactions themselves to obtain great sums of money or confidential information. A phishing attack is, most of the time, made with a fake judicial summons, client complaint executive requests, etc. These attempts are made to simulate an email or critical negotiations supposedly sent by a legitimate authority. To achieve this goal, criminals do extensive research regarding the victim, investigating the organizational structure of the company, identifying which people are authorized to make bank transfers, among other information. See below a case of a real phishing attack that resulted in a great financial loss for the company. Observe that John is the company's financial sector worker. Peter is the CEO, and Paul Zinaud is a person that doesn't exist and was created to make the attack seem real. John. I'm leaving under your responsibility. The file T521. This is a totally confidential financial action that must have absolute priority over all tasks. Have you been contacted by Mr. Paul Zinal yet? This is very delicate. So please talk with me only through this email. Please do not speak about this matter with anyone else. Be it by mail or by phone. Best regards, Peter. Now let's go over some of the main elements lowered by this attack. Hierarchy. In general terms, this consists of sending messages to the financial sector personnel, passing themselves off as someone above the target in hierarchy and asking to perform a financial transaction. Intimidation. Attackers abuse of authoritative language to convince the worker that something very bad happen if he doesn't follow the request exactly as written. It is also usual to request to keep the transfer secret and make no comment with anyone else. Trust relationships. The attackers forge messages in a way that it looks like the message is from someone the recipient knows and trusts. How to protect yourself. 1. There's no secret so big that you shouldn't communicate with the high management of your company. 2. Evaluate the context. Generally, the transfer requests are linked to products or services with documents that are easy to consult. Mysterious transfers should be an exception. And for that reason, must be thoroughly verified. 3. Standardizing names helps to identify a suspicious message. For example, Imagine that your company uses the following pattern. Company underscore bow underscore 216 underscore 01 underscore LD dot XLS for the balance sheets. This name is constituted by the name of the company type of file, year, month, and some identification number of who generated the file. Guessing the file name structure is one more step for the criminal. 4. Protect your company files. In this sense, it is always important to protect files with passwords or a cryptography solution. 5. Any suspicion must be communicated immediately to your manager. And if you're unsure, neither click nor download attachments or make high-impact actions without consulting your superior. One can never be too careful, sailor. See you later.